Shut up, phone. I'm having it. I'm doing a video. Oh, the clapper. Get the thing. Hi, it's Trixie Mattel doing her makeup using only e.l.f. Hi, it's me, Trixie Mattel, and if you're new here, I'm a world-famous drag queen with a passion for makeup artistry. Oh my god, did I wear this shirt on a video already? <laughs> did I wear this in the Wet n' Wild video? I think I have just had a flashback of wearing this exact shirt saying that exact phrase. <laughs> no, 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 it's a, it's a button up. You guys, I get worried about being an outfit repeater, but I don't think I've worn this. <laughs> Today, we are doing a look using all e.l.f. cosmetics. E.l.f. cosmetics, beep, 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 beep. Now on this channel, I believe we've done all Maybelline, all Wet n Wild, all NYX, and today we are taking on the juggernaut that is ELF. So let's get into it. I mean, listen, I am a little skeptical because if you don't know, ELF cosmetics are extremely affordable. Now through Wet n Wild and Maybelline, we have learned that sometimes price tag means nothing. Products can be incredible. So I'm optimistic, but uh, normally in these videos, I start out optimistic and it goes south. So I'm gonna glue my brows down and be right back. So my eyebrows are glued down. All right, I got some primer items. We have the Elf Hydrating Primer Mist. I forgot we're doing a drugstore video. I'm going to get the scissors. Come on, bitch. I hate opening makeup. I hate it. Okay, I, I did break that. Let's not blame that on Elf. It's so broke. I, I'm still gonna get a squirt out of it. Oh, <laughs> I feel like I just went to SeaWorld. I don't know if this works. So I guess, well, we're off to a great start. Okay, so now that I've ruined that, this is the e.l.f. Poreless Face Primer. It smells like a car adhesive. It's If you ever took shop class, it smells like some kind of interior car glue. Somebody from my high school is gonna watch this and be like, whore, we didn't see you in shop class, sis. We saw you in home ec. <laughs> I guess I can do the whole face. For me, when I apply primer, I most of the time just want like something here because I have so much texture in my skin. You guys are so nice on YouTube. You're always like, your skin's so beautiful. If you could see me in real life, bitch, I look like a piece of cheese. It did smooth for sure. Like it does look more matte here. I can feel it in the air, you guys. This is gonna be a struggle makeup application today. My store didn't have any e.l.f. sponges. This is one of the leftover Halloween sponges. So I'm excited to use that. But we have a foundation, folks. We have, where is it? All right, we have the e.l.f. Flawless Satin Foundation oil-free medium coverage. Now, there's already some red flags here for me. Cause you know for drag, I like full coverage, matte finish liquid, and this is a medium coverage satin finish. So there's gonna be some struggle. This is gonna be bad. Oh, I can already tell this is gonna be way too light. Cindy, this is water. Okay, I have a strategy, I have a strategy. I don't have a strategy. This is bad. Okay. You know what? We're switching to a brush because I really, I really am gonna see if this will like really go on. Jesus Christ. It smells good. It's okay, this is obviously too light for me. Um, but we're gonna, you know what? I'm not giving up. I might be giving up. Oh, I hate this. Okay, I already hate this. I'm not a huge fan of like satin finish foundations in general because unless you're like 12 with zero flaws, I think that they reveal more than they can see. Yo, oh, I hate the way this looks. Why can't we ever just have anything nice on this channel? Do you know what I mean? You know what? Just keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Commit. I'm going through changes. I've been listening to a lot of Kelly Osbourne. I got some concealers and I think that will help. This is the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer. I got one in light beige that I might have to try to use. Ah! It's thicker and darker, so I'm gonna use this as foundation. There's always a solution, folks. Now we're talking. I feel like in drag, like we're painting everything the wrong color. So like you can really get away with a mismatch foundation for drag. Girl. So I'm mixing in some more concealer because we need coverage, sis. I mean, I'm the 31 year old man who bought a medium coverage satin finish foundation from CVS and then complained that it wasn't thick enough to do drag. That is more on me. <sighs> Let's see what the audience thinks. 
The color, I'm so yellow. I look like Bart Simpson. I look like Bart Simpson. I don't even know. I don't even know. All right, the eyeshadow selections at my CVS were not fabulous. So this is all I found. Bite size eyeshadow in truffles. I do like the small size. I think that in America, we are obsessed with giant palettes. I mean, that's coming from us, Trixie Cosmetics, who make huge palettes. But some, there's something very alluring about a very tiny, tiny palette to me. Like if I had a palette like this that was good quality, I'm like, great, put it in my bag. I can like go do a gig in another city for one night and come back and pack very light. I love that. So I picked up this liner. This is the e.l.f. Intense Ink Eyeliner in Blackest Black. Okay, not bad. I actually don't hate this. It kind of has a, not that I know anything about calligraphy, but like it makes me think of like a calligraphy marker. That's pretty even. It's not perfect, but it's just a template because we're about to put a bunch of eyeshadow on it. Let's go to, okay, let's do it. Let's little brown. Very good, very good. I. Not gonna lie to you guys, that's a good shadow. It was very easy to work with, very pigmented, no fallout whatsoever. I mean, this was probably like four bucks. That's already pretty worth it to me. I don't wanna celebrate too soon because as you guys know, the second I start to like something in these videos, everything falls apart. If I already was weird, doing YouTube now for this long, the weirdness has jumped out. And this is the part in the video where the editor puts up something that says, you think you just got weird? We have been new. Think of the editors who have to watch me do this for hours and then it's someone's job to sit here and watch me talk to myself. And I can't imagine the existential crisis that the editors have when they're like, is this my job to watch this bald put eyeshadow on and talk to himself. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna go in with the darker shade here and uh, let's deepen up that crease a little bit. Let's see what the audience thinks. <laughs> this eyeshadow is kind of sickening. Like it's doing what I want it to do for sure. Look like how soft I got that. Okay, Miss Elf. Okay, Miss Elf. I mean, this is really working. I have no complaints so far with the eyeshadow. Let's do some brows. I'm gonna use the, I don't have a brow product. Elf didn't have a brow product at my store, so. We're sticking with this, folks. Now, when I'm doing my, you guys have probably seen me do this before. When I'm doing my under eye shadow, it's so big and crazy that I like to have the foundation like wet while I do it. So I'm gonna like kind of re-wet that. Before I go in and start doing, listen, I'm gonna go back in with the truffles. I mean, this is fierce, I'm not gonna lie. You guys, these have like zero fallout. I'm not gonna lie, Elf has kind of nailed this formula. Look how opaque and smooth that is. I'm gonna go in with black. The black has a little bit of a glitter. Let's see, is this where it's all gonna go south? So far, no. I wouldn't say it's sticking to the glue on my eyebrows in the most winning way, but I mean, most people aren't wearing children's glue on their heads the way I do so much of the time. I'm just gonna do a little bit of the black up here to even it out from the bottom. But like, this is totally serviceable. I'm gonna do the other side and be right back. I just can't believe like, I'm just gonna take a clean brush and like finish this, but on a foundation I don't even like, no fallout, no fallout. So we've got to do some more concealer. I've got the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer in fair warm. If I had this in the right color, I could see myself using this like out of drag maybe. Okay, it's not not shape tape. How? Who knew this video was gonna take such highs and lows? This is kind of fabulous. I mean, I'm surprised. I don't wanna say I'm shook. I'm just surprised. I didn't think this concealer was gonna turn the party this hard, but it really is. Look at how opaque this is. Opaque. This, it feels like acrylic paint, which honestly, I want concealer that's like paint. Wow, you guys, this is turning out really good. These brows are not even close to related. We'll just like stop there and let's do, um, let's do some of the rest of the face. So I'm gonna take that concealer again, the lightest one, and it's, it's so far it's working. So let's just run with it. Okay, I might've used too much. <laughs> I just saw myself on the monitor and I was like, Wendy Williams, like, oh. No, it's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. All right, let's do the nose. I don't know if this concealer is gonna work for you guys have seen the crime against humanity that I do that I call a nose. Let's see if that even dries. That is so much concealer. I think I've made a mistake. This is e.l.f. Uh, 16 hour camo concealer in deep cinnamon. This was the deepest shade they carried at my CVS. I bet they have a bigger range. I'm not here to expose them, but this is all they had at my CVS. This, this might not be dark enough for me to do what I wanna do with it, but let's see. Let's do like a buffing tool here. Oh. Oof. It's a little warm for me. We'll hope it powders down okay. Struggling on my channel? Could you believe? I don't know why I put myself through. I swear to God, you guys, the next makeup video I have planned is like upscale, nice makeup. And the views are gonna be like two views because you guys are only here to see me struggle. That does blend nice though, I will say. Oh, okay. It's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. Okay. It's really hard for me to tell if I hate this concealer because I hate the foundation so much. Does that make sense? I mean, what am I doing? 
Let's see, let's see. Okay, okay. I mean, it's not my favorite. It's just not dark enough. Like, I think that's part of what's throwing me off here that this, I know I have this much literally like super deep makeup on my face and it's not dark enough for what I'm trying to do, but well, let's just keep going. We are flying though. We're kind of going fast. Uh, would you guys ever be interested in watching me do a makeup tutorial with no editing? Like I bet I could, you guys would laugh. If I use my favorite products, I could get this whole Trixie makeup on in an hour. Would you guys watch that or is that too crazy? All right, I'm not mad at it. I'm not thrilled about it, but I'm not mad at it. I'm gonna take some of this deeper concealer and try to do the nose. <sighs> Let's just say if I'm not making jokes about the makeup, if I'm so quiet that I'm focused on it going well, it's not going well. So I'm gonna, we're gonna do some powdering. Now at my CBS, we did not have an e.l.f. powder. So I have the one size translucent powder from Patrick Star. I'm glad I picked this powder today because this powder has for a translucent powder, quite a bit of coverage and we could use it, bitch. Cause this foundation is not the tea, okay? <gasps> <coughs> Apparently I'm horribly allergic to it. All right, the powder did make it a little more functional. Like we are getting to the point where I probably could go on stage like this. So I'm gonna take some Studio Fix powder from MAC and I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to do some reparative dentistry here on my face and do some pressing. I love Studio Fix powder because like if you are a show hag or you go out and you just need your face to look like a China doll where you just are like, yes, I want people to know I have tons of makeup on. This is the powder. I'm sure Mac would sell it at the counter like, oh, it's so natural. Like, sorry, the, Mary, this powder's chalk. Um, but that's why I love it. It has its place in the world. Yeah, I mean, that is that is, that is is helping. It's helping. This was beautiful. I had to try this. This is the e.l.f. Precision Airbrush Blender. I think this is like $11. So we have a powder here. This is the e.l.f. Prime and Stay Finishing Powder in Fair and Light. It seems pretty sheer. I'm just gonna like do a little bit of this on the high parts of the face just to like blend everything out with. It's a clear compact and look at the bottom of this. You can see the pan inside. I don't know if I like that. That seems like a mistake to me. I bought a contour powder palette. This is Sculpt and Shade Contour Palette. Ah! I guess I'm gonna start contouring. I'm gonna take the lighter color and do some of the forehead. Very good, very good. Nice and soft. This is definitely helping. It's also adding some coverage, which let's be honest, we needed because this foundation was not enough. Um, I actually have a, gr I wanna try this. Multi Blender Massager. Look at that odd brush, you guys. Isn't that weird? I would think I bought it with this in mind, like the jaw. What do you guys think? Let's try it. Okay, I love this. It's so soft. Oh, my jawline brush. Great, now I have to travel with a jawline brush. Oh, <gasps> excuse me. This is like a house paint brush, you guys. Oh, <gasps> I love this. I'm gonna take the deeper part of this contour powder and I guess we're gonna do the deep part of the cheeks. You guys, this makeup is gonna turn out. It's not gonna be the best makeup ever, but I'm starting to feel like I'm confident it's gonna turn out. I'm gonna do a little more of the deeper contouring around the sides because I'm kind of into it. Like, I like this. A face paint brush for house paint in this economy? All right, sis, go off. I'm gonna do the sides of the nose with the with the lighter contour color. Okay, that turned out a little darker than I wanted it to, but whatever. You guys didn't come to this channel for soft nose contour, let's be honest. You came to see this bitch put the makeup on like the world is ending, which let's be honest, we've all thought it was. That is so dark. I went way too dark. The world, everything needs to stop. You know what? You know what? I'm going to put that finishing powder to use. Okay. Elf finishing powder. Please take some of the, okay. It is taking some of the contour off. Love it. Loves it. Is this my favorite makeup? No. Could this be functional for a show? Yes. Could I wear it like on camera, like a press day? Absolutely not. It's just, if you guys could see up close, I'm going to try to get closer. Can you guys see the texture in the skin? Like I know I have some texture in my skin cause I'm, you know, me, but like, <laughs> this is, it's this sort of enhancing texture, which is sort of the opposite of what I want for makeup, but um, let's keep going. So I'm gonna do the white eyeliner that I normally do and the black liner, and I'm gonna be right back. All right, so I got my white liner on and I want to do some glitter. What do we have here? Oh, we have the Trixie Cosmetics Pop Off, this beautiful color. I don't think we've used it on this channel. This came out for holiday this year. It's so pretty, it's like, a bubbly gold champagne. It's supposed to be the color of champagne in a glass because festive. Oh yeah. You guys, the way I breathe when I, oh, I love that. Oh, I love that. The way I breathe when I put makeup on, if you guys could hear me, I'm like, <sighs> I don't know why. Anybody else, when you focus, you like 
day snore. Why is that? Look at that. I love that. I love that. Oh, I'm just gonna set it with some, you guys know I love the Manic Panic white face powder. We have no choice but to stand. Oh yes, okay. I'm getting very into this makeup now. I'm, I'm not thrilled with the status of the skin products, but I'm really into this eye makeup right now. So I'm gonna take this pen because I really like this intense ink eyeliner pen. And I'm gonna do like a little bit of like a cut in the crease. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Absolutely. A glitter cut crease? Are we professional makeup artists? I'm gonna fill in the black liner quick. Oh, I love it. Oh my God, I love it. You guys, this is the truth. I test glitter so often for Trixie Cosmetics that usually on, on YouTube, I'm, I'm not interested in putting glitter on, but <gasps> I love myself. Oh, why don't I just like put nice makeup makeup on more often and then feel good about myself anytime I want. Cause wow, this just turned my life around. I'm going out tonight. Everything's closed. COVID is in full effect. Apparently I'm gonna go ride my bird scooter in the street and drag cause this is lit. That is so pretty. The only thing I'm not living for is I did have a lot of glitter fallout. And so the, the shadows, you can see the liner is a little glittery, but I actually, oh, I, I'm living. Okay, I'm gonna do the other eye and come right back. Can I just say, I know we go through a lot of journeys on this channel, but I didn't expect this makeup to be looking as cool as it looks right now. So we're just gonna keep going. I got some blushes here. You know I love blushes. I look forward to trying a new blush every chance I can. This is the e.l.f. blush palette in light. I love being able to, to choose my own destiny with blush. Some really beautiful shades. Look at that. I love that. Okay, we have to do the peach, right? Yeah, we're gonna do the peach. Like this orgasm kind of color. <gasps> oh, oh, ooh. I'm gonna go the deeper color in the back. You guys know I love to do like a deep blush in the back of the head and then a light blush in the front. <gasps> I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. This is pretty. But as usual in these videos, I panic, I freak out, and then it slowly starts to come together. So I got some mascara. This is e.l.f. Volume Plumping Mascara. Ooh. Now I have pretty long lashes, so I like a volumizing mascara. I like something that makes my lashes fat and chunky. So let's see here. Mm, I'm not impressed. To me, this is doing almost nothing right now. I know you guys can't really see because I have all this black liner on. <sighs> you guys, mascaras are really, if there's one product that I am hot or cold on, it's mascaras. It's either my favorite thing or my least favorite thing. And right now I am not impressed. It is barely, it's not doing anything. It's barely covering them black, coloring them black. You guys, I'm not gagging. I'm sorry. I don't even see that mascara. Let's try another coat, but like this might just go straight in the trash. Maybe this one sat on the shelf too long, you guys. It's not even, it's like dry. I feel bad because I know somebody from Elf is gonna watch this. I bought it with my own money though. And you know what? It didn't work. I don't want to throw it because we're going to talk about the end of the video, but. All right, let's get into some lips here. I have Day to Night Lipstick Duo. So I just grabbed this because I thought it was the most like, I love a rosy neutral color. Hmm, okay. Yeah, it's a very like Avon color, like a very kind of warm old lady kind of color. But I mean, I like those kind of colors. And then we have the nighttime color. Okay, so here's the two colors side by side. One is like a, I mean, truly like a daytime color. And the other one is like a, going out to dinner with your boyfriend's parents or girlfriend's parents. So let's, Let's try it. There was no lip liners at my CVS, so I had to BYO lip liner here. What did I got? I got my Sora lip liner, you guys know. On this channel, we stan Sora lip liner. Look how little mine is right now. I don't know about you guys, I will use a lip liner until the day it dies. To me, once they get shorter than this, I put them in my makeup kit for going to set, because then it's like, I can put that in my purse. It's like hard to put lip liner on because I have so many layers of foundation on. I'm gonna blend it out. Oh God, look at that. Is that normal? Jesus Christ. Let's blend this little sucker out. Would you guys follow my channel if I had a strong Southern accent? Or what would you guys do if I just picked it up one day and kept it and never said anything? All right, so let's put on the e.l.f. daytime lip color. It's not what I would normally go for, but I do like it, it's pretty. Again, I could see this like, put it in your bag because you want a second make, like a, like a makeup bag to keep in your car. Like makeup you don't really want to care about. Like this is nice. All right, I think that's it. Oh, wait, I have to do highlighter and then we're done. So we have one more product left. I got the e.l.f. Baked Highlighter in Moonlight Pearls. So, okay, it's just like a, I mean, it's a it's a highlighter. It, it doesn't seem like it's that legit. Let's see. I'm gonna load up this little brush here. I mean, it's soft. 
for like a drugstore highlighter. I don't, listen, I don't mind a soft highlighter. Like I know when we get strong highlighters in this channel, I like scream, but like, honestly, I don't mind like a subtle highlighter. It's not bad, right? I'm not living, but I like it. I mean, it did, it did what it said it did, right? So I'm gonna set this. I got the matte magic mist and set. I've actually had this before because I remember this bottle. What a weird bottle, like sort of like a, they're trying to do like a studio product look. Ooh. It's a strong spray. Let's see. Now, if you remember, we've had texture problems in other videos and sometimes the setting spray fixes it. Let's see what happens. Right off the bat, I'm gonna guess that there's cetyl alcohol in here. Second ingredient, alcohol. I knew it. It actually did help with the texture. Do you guys see the difference? For some reason, the setting spray, it actually helped that sort of like texture a little bit. All right, I'm gonna put on some lashes and a wig and we'll be right back. And we are back with the final look. Now, did I defy all odds? Did I overcome adversity? Do I look incredible? Absolutely. But um, we have a lot to recap, so let's get into the products today. Ooh, I forgot I have a gloss. Ooh, I forgot I have a gloss. Okay, ooh, e.l.f. Lip Plumping Gloss in Sparkling Rose. Okay, e.l.f., I'm gonna write you a letter about this packaging that I cannot figure out how to open any of your products. Oh yeah. You guys, I've been really in a gloss phase lately. Like I went years of never wearing gloss and now I'm like an all gloss all the time person. <gasps> oh. First off, we had this uh, hydrating primer mist that I broke two seconds into the video. I can't say how it worked. So we're just gonna say, we don't know. We don't know how it worked. Elf Poreless Face Primer. I actually quite like this. This reminded me of Benefit Professional and Urban Decay Complexion Perfection, which is two of my favorite primers. Whoa, that lip plumper is <sighs> intense. My lips are definitely, uh, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling the burn. Okay, woo. <sighs> do they look fuller? If they look fuller, comment below. Um, what else did we do? Oh God, oh yes. Why don't we just take a moment to talk about this foundation. Uh, e.l.f. Flawless Satin Finish Foundation. It's an oil-free, medium-covered satin finish foundation. I might keep this and like use it on my body. Like I could see this looking pretty on my arms in drag because it has like a sheen to it. But honestly, this was one of my least favorite drag foundations I've ever used. Then again, it's not made for that. So whatever. But I, I probably will not be using this on my face ever again. The Camo Concealers, you guys, I'm not gonna lie. For the drugstore price, these are probably a couple dollars each. I was not unimpressed with these. I mean, look at the material. It kind of built up to enough coverage. I almost wish, honestly, I almost wish I would have skipped the foundation and probably just done my full face with this because I think I could have just used these because these were not bad. These reminded me a lot of Shape Tape. This is probably the most, I think that this was created to purposely be like Shape Tape. The components similar, the consistency similar. It smells better than Shape Tape. To me, Shape Tape smells like bug spray. This didn't smell. I actually, ooh, 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 ooh. I actually like these. These were good. The e.l.f. Uh, face powder. You guys, I really could take it or leave it. A sheer kind of dusty powder in a compact I don't like. I probably won't be using that again. Then again, sometimes I like to like depot stuff like this and put it in palettes that I take to shoots. Who knows if it'll make it into a palette? I don't know. The um, Intense Ink Eyeliner Pen. This was fun, but I mean, I do like it. For a brand new liner, I find this to apply not as opaque as I would want. Like, honestly, we've used the NYX, I think it's called That's The Point liner, which is really similar, and that's better at a, at a similar price point, so not my favorite. The e.l.f. Volume Mascara, I will never use that again. That was one of the worst mascaras I've used in a long time. Pretty bad. Like, to me, Great Lash, Maybelline, I love you. Great Lash is like, if it's not at least better than Great Lash, which isn't great, it's not good. And that mascara was not good. And the nerve of saying it's plumping when it was barely doing anything, I said, where? The e.l.f. Baked Highlighter. I mean, do you guys even see it? I just don't think I even see it. Let me wet a brush and see if I can like smear it on because I don't even see it. Okay, see, wet, do you guys see the difference? A lot of times these baked highlighters, if you add water, they like reactivate. So when you wet the brush, you get like a paint. Do you see that? Do you see the difference? Like I said, not sure I would use it again. It's definitely, it's definitely better wet, Um, but I don't see myself using this again. Contour palette. This was kind of a serve. I mean, we tried the NYX contour palette and we were like, meh. This is pretty great. I mean, for how cheap it was, like, I could do my whole face, including my nose with this. I probably could have done an eye look with this. This was a really nice 
sheer buildable contour. I think with drugstore contours, I get worried about touching the brush to my face and like seeing dirt instantly. This was like really buttery and very sheer. Like I could do my forehead with a lighter color, build up my cheeks with a darker color. I'm not even mad at this. I could see myself using this again. Love. This blush palette, love. I used two of the shades, I loved it. This is probably the best product of the day in my opinion. A blush quad this size with a full size mirror in it from the drugstore. This is great. Like I just think of products at this price point, I think of like the stuff you keep at work or keep in your car. Like you don't wanna have to marry, like your favorite products you're not gonna like throw around in your life. And like products like this, whatever, it's five bucks. If it works, leave it in your car, who cares? If you have a car. I don't. The lipsticks, uh, the double-sided lipstick, I'm at peace with it. This color's growing on me. I do like, what do you guys think of this? Like, I never wear these middle tone colors, but I kind of like it. I'm into it. I liked it, it's pretty, it's comfortable to wear. It was nice full coverage. Definitely has a gloss finish, but um, I liked it. The gloss, I'm living. A pale pink gloss that makes my lip tingle. It literally feels like I put two Crest White Strips on each lip and then like drank Sprite. That's how much my lips are tingling and I love it. Cause some plumpers, like girl, go try the Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme and tell me that that doesn't feel like legitimate pain. This doesn't feel like pain, it feels um minty. I bet that the active ingredient in this is mint. The matte spray, I mean, I actually, if you recall, we hated the foundation and this kind of saved it, so I'm into this. The problem with setting sprays is I have so many that even if I used one every day, it would take me decades to get through the sprays I have. So do I see myself when I need a setting spray reaching for this one? Probably not, but it's, it's not bad. It's, it's a good finishing spray for sure. Finally, probably the best product I've tried it in a couple weeks. Girl, this bite size shadow palette in Truffle. Look at my eyes, beautiful. Stunning, I did my brows and my eyes with this. This was seriously, I don't know the price, maybe five bucks. Like this is awesome. I think this is great. I would be interested if they have more of these to try the other ones, cause this is really nice. Well, I love doing these drugstore videos. If you guys have an e.l.f. product that I couldn't find at my store, please let me know below. I'm always looking to try new stuff. And e.l.f. kind of turned it. I mean, I had some skin issues, but the cheeks, the lips, the contouring, a lot of it came together, so. <sighs> it's like 9 p.m. in quarantine and I am in full drag and I have nowhere to go. And it's one of those, bittersweet moments where like, maybe I can put on some nylons and go get the mail. I just want someone to see me. But thank you for joining me. We have new videos every single week here and subscribing is absolutely free. I will see you next week. Goodbye.